While I was enjoying my dinner the other night, I suddenly received a vision from the Emperor. He told me to remember the fact that Fabius Bile literally kidnapped a bunch of custodians and sisters of silence a while back in one of the psychic awakening books, War of the Spider. I thought about this some more and it got me cooking up some insane ideas. If you don't know who Fabius Bio is, you can think of him as 40k's Dr. Frankenstein. Dude is a former Legioness Astartes warrior who served as the chief apothecary of everyone's favorite degenerates, the Emperor's children. There are few beings in the galaxy capable of matching the Emperor in genetic engineering, but Fabius is one of them. One of his most known fates is creating a clone of the Primarch Fulgrim, not the degenerate demon Fulgrim, but Fulgrim before he discovered the internet. And I probably should have mentioned his creations, the new men, in my last commentary video because they are a great example of existing female transhumans. For those of you who have read the Fabius Bile trilogy books, Primogenitor, Clone Lord and Manflayer by Josh Reynolds, you know what I'm talking about. The new men are a series of genetically engineered humans that are much stronger and faster than baseline humans. While they do have their flaws, such as being extremely aggressive, the latest generations of the new men are designed to blend into regular human society. Appearance wise, you can't tell them apart from a normal human. Kind of like how late generation Tyranid gene cult infiltrators can blend into humanity. However, these new men look human in every possible way. Whereas gene cultists tend to have physical abnormalities like if you take off their hats, you see ridges on their forehead, for example. Unless you want to closely scrutinize these new men, you cannot tell the difference. Fabius Bile has stated that their ultimate purpose is to replace humanity. His relationship with them is similar to how the Space Marines view their Primarchs. The new men call Fabius Bile the benefactor, and while he wants them to be independent from him, it's a very paternal relationship and they will do anything to protect him, even if it meant disobeying his orders. These new men are powerful, particularly when working together. One of the new men's subspecies is known as a gland hound, and they are made to take down space marines in packs. They are made from a modified strain of space marine gene seed. While these gland hounds do not grow to the size and strength of normal Astartes, because their progenoid glands are lesser imitations of the real thing, the fact that they can reproduce makes them a huge threat in the long term to the Imperium. Not only are they physically superior to normal humans, Fabius Bile can also insert Xenos characteristics into them, such as giving them Eldar-based agility. Their aggressive nature is also a result of Fabius synthesizing Bargesi DNA into his new men. For a glimpse into his thought process behind it, here's a small quote from when he is speaking to his full groom clone. A bit of Bargesi in the mix lends much needed aggression. Humans do not lack for it of course, but it is a fire quickly snuffed. The hyper-violence of the Bargesi, sublimated to the patience of the human mind, makes for a deadly predator. So in essence, his new men are human Xenos half-breeds that can assimilate into the wider Imperium and are intended to cause its downfall from within. Now what does this have to do with the custodians and sisters he'd kidnapped? Well, since obviously he intends to use them as test subjects and given what we know of the new men, it can be inferred that he may attempt to extract a genetic template or certain genetic traits that he can use to create perhaps the strongest generation of new men. This is a guy who can not only create his own race of transhumans, but also clone not one but two Primarchs. The other Primarch was Horus Lupical, who he introduced to Abaddon. However, Abaddon being the Chad that he is, slayed the clone of his gene father with the talents of Horus, the same weapon that tasted the blood of the Emperor in the Horus Heresy's final 1v1 showdown. So that's why I think Fabius is more than capable of figuring out at the very least a crude imitation of the custodian creation process. I know the argument could be made that he does not have the resources to do it, but Fabius is also backed by the powers of chaos, even if he himself refuses to admit it. Whatever resources he requires, Chaos will provide because the Chaos Gods have an interest in this particular point of theirs. I think Fabius definitely has the potential to create monsters that are based off the Custodian template. Perhaps if they wanted to do a remake of female Custodies, this could have been an alternative narrative path. Fabius creates mockeries of the Custodians, but maybe he does produce a perfect specimen who happens to be female. Some of Fabius's best creations are female transhumans, as seen in characters like Igori or the twins Mayasha and Meishana. When a custodian retribution task force comes to rescue their comrades and deliver justice, there is a chance they won't outright kill her. Because if there's any faction in 40k's Imperium of Man that isn't blinded by religious fanaticism or transhuman arrogance, it's going to be the custodians. They could take her in, train her, and induct her into their order. So instead of being just another random face, she is a memorable, unique character of the Custodies. But that's just the crazy remake idea of mine that I'm just putting out there. The more frightening prospect would be if Fabius somehow managed to synthesize and replicate the pariah gene artificially. The pariah gene is the genetic mutation that is responsible for blanks, people who are psychic dolls that are said to be soulless because they have no presence in the warp and who are actually immune to warp-based phenomenon. This is definitely right up there on the insane idea scale. But if there's anything 40k is all about, it's edgy and crazy. Imagine new men that have the pariah gene. 
So not only are they physically superior to normal humans from a lesser imitation of Astartes gene seed, they are also imbued with the traits of dangerous Xenos species and have anti-psycho powers. You know what would be even crazier than that? Combining the above with the custodian genetic template. Now that would be 40k mad scientist type vibes right there. It could make for an epic final boss battle for talents of the Emperor Rescue Party. Maybe even an epic 1v1 with either Papa Smurf Gully Man or the Lion. The ending of the War of the Spider Book tells us that Shield Captain Aetel Taiva and his surviving custodians and Sisters of Silence who didn't get captured, though they failed to rescue their kidnapped comrades, sent a message back to the Captain General of the Custodies, Trajan Valoris, on Terra. It would be fitting to end this video with a quote from the priority missive he sent. Captain General. Glory of terror to you, my lord. Great have our travails been since departing the light of the soul system, and dark our road. Even now, I and my comrades hasten homeward, for we have borne witness to an evil that I believe constitutes a threat to our master's realm. Should the storms close in upon us before we see terror's light again, I hope that at the least, this missive shall reach you, that you might act in our stead. For the abominations you shall witness in the attached data scriptures, I make no apology. It is crucial that you see, as I have, the extent of the horrors wrought by the heretic Fabius Spile. You must understand, as I now do, the true depths of evil with which we are faced.